Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Dating My Budget. My name is Nita and I'm on a journey to becoming a financial warrior. I'm giving myself financial options with the help of zero-based budgeting, the cash envelope system, and savings challenges. Today is my second and last paycheck of November and we just counted $713. 500 of the cash was from my paycheck and the $48 was from this challenge that we completed on $20 Tuesday. And 165 from the prop that makes up our total of 713. Let's actually start with my wallet. We go through and remove any rollover cash or cash that was left over from the pre previous two weeks. And so this is my daily wallet that I keep in my purse. This is my cash wallet buffer. And so we're just going to pull this out. So any rollover can roll here. So groceries, we used it all. Car juice. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four. Four dollars to roll. We just tuck this in the back here. Uh, home goods, nothing. I don't think we stuffed anything the last paycheck. Uh, dine out has $20 to roll over. And the last pay check, I stuffed this 25 from dying out. I stuffed the 25 from dying out in the back because I um, we was invited to a birthday party. And this cash, I counted as spent, but I used my debit card to pay for the food. And $25 was not enough. So <laughs> I think it came up to like 54 was my final bill so i'll be doing the unstuffing um and this money will not go to our vacation uh fun if we have rollover past the 75 dollar goal it rolls to our vacation that's our incentive to not dine out we just send it to a vacation um but since i have to unstuff it I'm going to pull that from here. But I do one end of the month unstuffing and take the cash back to, you know, pay back my account or card, depending on what I've used. Uh, next is um, Nothing at Fam Jam, Beauty, Ragnar is going to roll. He did use some of his cash. So... We're going to just roll this here. So that way when it's time for me to unstuff, I'm pulling from this wallet and not here. And miscellaneous, we didn't spend anything. Neither hang time, but I'm just going to leave that here. And so we're done with the cash wallet buffer. I can put this away. We can stuff for the next two weeks. So groceries gets $40. And have I have a I got a story to tell y'all about um I had like twenty I think twenty two dollars remaining and I saw so I went ran to the grocery store to get some things to cover a couple meals that was on sale. Not necessarily that we were out of, but it was on sale and we like to always have and check the stock and we had one left. As a rule of thumb for me. If we have one in use and one waiting, yeah, that's time. I need to stock up. So it's one of those kind of situations. I went out for a run that morning. And after the run, I ran to the grocery store, which that's kind of my thing. I make my outside visits work. So I'm, it's not like, Okay, I'm going to do this. And then the next day I'm going to go do that. I, everything one trip as much as possible. And today is Sunday. Sunday is my reset day. And I'd love to do my cash stuffings on Sunday. So I'm set there financially. And then I put meal prep, fill up the tank, replenish the shelves. Like, you know, our everyday use things. All that. That's just, that's my Sunday routine. Car juice is going to get 45 and I'm trying to get the, I thought I put the worst bills in the front, but 
I feel like I see some towards the back. So <clears throat> that's going to be a 20, a 10, two fives, and five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. So this should be 45. Let's just double check. 20, 30, 40. <laughs> 20, 30, 5, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you know, giving you, you know, my backstory of where I came from. And it just, it was a quick grocery store. Grocery store run, uh, which usually if, when I'm by myself, that's what it is. Because I'm just picking up things that we've ran out of, forgotten, that's on sale. Small things. It's only $40, you know. And I try to rotate it over the weekly ads or sales or whatever. I think I was going to get three items. I was finishing. I was getting a free item from my bada, which was the Hawaiian rolls. So I went and grabbed that. Pasta sauce. So went to that aisle and it's like, bam, okay, I got a plan. I'm gonna go to right to left. The registers are on the left, so I just start at the right. You know, all these things in mind. Got my my mental list and grab the bread, go get the pasta. They're two aisles away from each other. But I do remember noticing a person like in a uniform, but not paying attention. I'm just doing what I <laughs> gotta do. We're gonna give home goods 10. So I see the 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 uniform as I'm picking out the the um pasta sauce go back and forth, like passing the aisle four times. And I'm like, oh goodness, here we go. It seems like, you know, for a lot of people or a lot of men that want to approach me, they do that. And like that's that the, the stalker thing that I get in my head. Like, okay, you know, this person is gearing up to follow you or come in the aisle to to approach you or something. So I was right. Dine out gets 25. I'm trying to tell you guys the story and steal stuff. But I, I definitely don't want to mess up. <laughs> so that's dine out. Uh, we're going to go all the way back to kindness. And time. Oh, actually, oh, yes, that's right. Because I was sticking it back here. So kindness is going to get 10. And I'm just going to tuck this right back here. And that pretty much settles it for the wallet. So we're done with the wallet. Let me grab the next envelope or binder. Okay, we're going to get into the month ahead. So the guy approaches me and he's like, I'm sorry I didn't say something before because you have such a um, stone face that I didn't know where to start. I was like, oh, oh, okay. I know. I have an answer. How about you not start? How about that? And <laughs> he didn't know what he was walking into because I get that all the time. It's like nobody approaches me on a normal situation, normal, normal conversation. It's always, oh, you did this or didn't do this or you should do that. or the Like, no, that's not you. You starting off wrong out the gate, out the gate. Can somebody be normal? Excuse me. Um, I think you're beautiful. I want to know if I can get to know you. Straight to the point, let's, that's normal. But when you come telling me about what I'm doing, what I ain't doing, what I should be doing, I don't know you, you don't know me, you have no idea. But anyway, I'm like, so I need to have a, a big smile on my face for you, for you to feel comfortable to come talk to me. Nobody else walks in the grocery store. No, how, matter of fact, how many of y'all go in the grocery store and, and you're smiling, you're grinning, you're, you're jolly, and you're happy? And maybe you're about to go spend $400. You might not be excited about that. Um, but I think it's a grocery store face. People 
got a list, whether it's mental, on their phone, on paper, you're focused on what you're doing. When you when I approach the employees, it's always, hey, good morning, or, you know, speaking to them. I kind of have a reputation with the employees. I want I treat them well so they can treat me well, period. You know, even uh, another a uh, customer we just passing each other hey good morning or whatever that's just that's normal and at that time when you're speaking you might have a you know a pleasant face but you're just walking around focused on what you're doing who's walking around smiling with a big grin and focus on if somebody feeling comfortable to say something like I don't do that that's nobody does that so don't try and put that pressure on me like I'm doing something so terrible that you feel some kind of way to approach me. Don't everybody get a 10 till you make it a zero. And yeah, you had, you had negative five right now. Negative five. Month ahead is 25. I mean, okay. So we have, we're adding 25. And then, so it's 20, 40, 60, 70, 5, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 84, not bad. I'm trying to get this to 100. I have one more stuffing for my side hustle. So I think we'll definitely get over the $100 mark. The other envelope in here in Amazon, or in, in this binder, is Amazon. My Amazon Prime Premium. And that is going to get 12. So... We had a 10 and two ones. Amazon is now at 120, 30, 32. 132. And I think the my membership is due in March. February or March. So we are on time with that. Next bind I'm going to go into is wellness. And you guys, I'm not done with the whole... Uh, grocery situation so but I just I want to get to the binder that I have more envelopes to stuff wellness I'm only stuffing one here in my personal binder and so wellness is going to get 24 so we have 20 and then one two three four So wellness is up to 51, 20, 40, 50, 5, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4. So 164. I've been trying to maintain this at 200 all year. Um, cause it's covering my copays, any anything sick, as well as my supplements, um, which I do need to unstuff. I kind of got my supplements on a Rotation of every three months. So that's been, I've been loving that this year. Um, and the next binder we're going to get into is the family binder. And we're going to go back here to uh, school aid. So, you know, a little back and forth uh, with the, the guy in got what color <laughs> what color I want to do the apples so he's he then says you know it's a blessing he's like oh no no let me go back he's like oh no I ain't mean no disrespect you know I was like none taken I, I don't feel disrespected but you have your logic is backwards and you want to approach me like that's a good way, a, a good start. It's not. It's like, that's terrible. Oh, you know, it's a blessing to wake up and see a beautiful woman. Um, uh, I don't know if that's the blessing that you should receive. I, I didn't say this to him, but that just further showed me that, yeah, if I was single or if you had an opportunity, you, you started at negative five. You at the negative 10 now. That, that didn't help. It didn't help at all. Mm -mm. School aid is getting 40 Each apple is $40. Mm -mm. 
and it has 152-2040. So 240. We get to color in another apple. And I need to add this to my Etsy shop. <laughs> I'm behind on the items. Like I have them ready and I keep fine tuning things. Um and I want to have like I, the a6 size challenges i like to have three different ones to offer and i just feel like you get the best bang for your buck that way let me put this under here just in case it bleeds through oh yeah we're gonna do some blue apples today so um after all that you guys he, he didn't read the conversation he didn't read the he just know he had an agenda. He was focused on that, but then no, I'm sure he didn't expect what he got. And I'm, you know, like you, it's a lost art to me. Like, cause so many, I get the same thing. I get the same thing everywhere I go, everywhere I go. The gym, especially, I spend a lot of time at the gym and I gym hop. I'm new to people from the there's the gym I go to most of the time, and then you know there's others that I hop in and hop out of. So to them, I'm a new person, so they it's the same approach. It's like that's what I got into before he got into the disrespect thing. It's like maybe my face is that I'm focused. Maybe my face is I'm on a limited amount of time. Maybe my face is. I don't want to be bothered. Maybe that could be it, but you can't see that. You can't think about that. Oh, it can't be none of that. I got to have a bad life. I got, if I'm with somebody, it, I, I must need a, a new, I need, I need a savior and that's you. Why is it always that? It's always some kind of negative something. Don't project on me what you're used to or what you're going through or what you use. You know, don't put that on me. Cause it's not going, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And you guys, I get, <laughs> I get all oh, so much negative interactions with people. And I, I hate to bring up like how I look or appear or whatever. Cause to me, I just look like me in my opinion of myself my, the face matches the body you know we, we we go together and my clothes coordinate and it fits me it's my style is it's me it makes me, you know I'm happy with me it's not for nobody else I don't care what anybody thinks or nobody has to give me a compliment I is I'm not on that nobody ever has to give me a compliment quality respect like that's it you cool with me like i said it's a lost art people refuse to be normal or have gotten away so far away from that that everybody is supposed to just oh okay well i'm so sorry that i didn't have this invitation on my face for you and everybody else who feel that same way to approach me but here you are anyway so it doesn't stop you i wasn't focused on you and I said, um, matter of fact, I didn't even notice you, notice me not smiling at you to invite you over. Like, eh, I'm focused on what I'm focused on. Do pay, people take that personal or they just think that's the, the way to go? Or after all that, <laughs> after all that, you would think somebody got the picture. You started wrong. You know, it's a no, none of that. So before he leaves... His whole tune changed. He's like, oh, are you spoken for, ma'am? I, I want to say, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I was like, of course. No, I didn't say that. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> but I was like, yes. Yes. So he left. Like, you know, I was already on the edge with that whole situation because I, it, it's a constant. So I'm like, wow, wow, wow. I said, I can't wait to get home to tell the kids and Ragnar and all that. Because at this point, it's, it's comical for us. So, you know, 
I I have a son and daughter, so I have these experiences to so both can hear. It's like daughter, this is what you gonna expect. We look identical, you know, so when we are together, um, people are always complimenting her and me and all the time. So and and it's it's more pleasant when I'm with her. Um and then for my son as a man this is what you don't want to do. I don't know. I don't like the, the the slippery, slimy, trickery. Oh, this, oh, that. I mean, I could, I could tell y'all for the rest of this video, so many interactions or things that people say. Matter of fact, let's do that. We're going to keep stuffing and I'm going to tell y'all something. If you got a line that you heard that's like, what? <laughs> but all you can do is laugh. Anyway, <laughs> birthdays. <clears throat> It's getting 21. So it's up to 50, 70, 90, 100, 102. And I'll be I'm pulling from this. I It was my niece's birthday party who well, we um, went out to eat. So I, I, I purchased her a gift for the last stuffing. And then... <laughs> The day of, I saw something else, so I purchased something else. So I will pull it from here. Next is Christmas. Christmas is getting forty dollars, and it's twenty two twenties. And so we have fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, sixty, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven. 167 at Christmas 2025. And this is another tracker I'm putting on my Etsy shop. This one you'll get two. I think I did 500 and 1,000. I feel like I should be working towards 1,500 for my Christmas because as the kids get older, their wants get more expensive. So we just going to. Um, I found these dark markers on Amazon. There was a dollar ninety-seven or dollar seventy-nine, one of the two. But I went to link them for you guys. They're no longer available. Then they gave me options, and it was like five dollars and some change. But it still wasn't this metallic. It was a it came a three pack, and so we got like the rose goldish gold, and then this pewter, which they call it like black pearl. And so I was going to get like a couple more packs and yeah, <laughs> I dropped one. Yeah, they dropped pretty good. I tested out on uh, vellum. It works really, I mean not vellum, but uh, laminate. Um, well, it, yeah, laminate, vellum, all that. I, I tested it out and yeah, worked good. No smearing. Moving on to the back where we have our RX savings. Well, first, let me tell you, it's going to get 25. So let's grab that. And we get to, so we got a 20 and a five. So what I realized is that this amount, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 25, 30. So 130, and let me put this on the cal calculator so I don't forget. But so for my sick days, once this is completed, done the medical, this comes in a bundle of three on my Etsy shop. And I just made them into envelopes, printed on vellum, made into envelopes. But uh, so we did a medical and a dental. So this 405 and 200, so that's 605. Oops. So that's 130. Oh no, we're close. My goal for my sick days, that's what I was trying to get at. My goal for sick days is 750. So let me just show you guys. So we have five, six. And five so 605 for whatever reason I thought we was at um 750 but we're that close so what I'm gonna do is 
once this <clears throat> once this gets to 150 which I'm sure I think the next paycheck I'm just going to get it at 150 750 and we'll add it I've met my goal for sick days and then we'll continue this stuff in this but this will start going towards my medical fund but yeah I was I got excited that I, I'm like oh we met the goal but no we're close we're close so that is it for the family binder. And in case you're new, like my sick days envelope, I wanted to make sure that I have a decent amount of money to start with, to cover medical bills, medical copays, prescriptions if they ever needed. Like we have a fund to pull from, but I'm trying to maintain it at the 750 so it's always available so I can start my actual medical emergency fund which is the the goal amount is my deductible which is 3000 mention that next we're going to go into the home and auto binder and we are going to go to Sicker Auto, and this is going to get $50. I pay my car insurance every six months, but last year I was able to get a year ahead. So in the bank, we have all the money that covered plus a buffer, uh, the two premiums that we paid for this year. So this is for 2025. So we have 500 in the bank and then Six, seven, eight, nine, nine fifty. So nine fifty. I think I've been saving towards my premium twelve hundred. It's about eleven hundred, and the next premium is due in February. So February is my annual mark and so we'll have you know another 1200 sitting for 2025 uh, next is car defense this one i am doing a 52 week challenge and so we're gonna give this 103 i'm gonna put 50 back grab 100 and i messed up on my Denomination. Oh no, I think I was supposed to. I think I'm gonna. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna give this a ten. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So swap that out and we're going to just take three right back. So we gave it a total of 103. So what we have, bring back out the calculator. So we have 1500 in the bank. And then one... Two, three, four, four fifty, four seventy, four eighty, eighty one, two, three, four, four eighty four. So nineteen eighty four in our car emergency fund. That's a nice number to have. As many as you know that I'm saving for a new car, um, whether I use it for a down payment plus my our goal is to pay a thousand dollars a month the whatever the car note is up to a thousand or the difference that makes up a thousand um that's like that's been our game plan for car notes we applied that concept to ragnar's car and we was able to get it paid off in 10 months versus i think the actual car note was like three years or something. 
So we've given ourselves a year and a half to do that for her SUV. I'm hoping to get. We're going to color two jars. And that's 29 and 24. So all year I've been working my way to, towards the middle. So we started with 1 and 52. That was far 53. And I kept the num that was a way for me to keep the number consistent and work towards the middle. So, and so, um, back to the, I guess, sad approaches that, you know, I've ran into. Um, so I was in another, uh, actually Winn-Dixie. I was in Winn-Dixie. And I, that's one store I rarely go to, but, you know, sometimes they have uh, some decent deals and sales or whatever. And so I'm walking past the seafood department and the guy walks up <clears throat> or passes me and he's like, oh, you know who got the best seafood, right? Um... <laughs> I didn't say anything because I'm like, what? Like, first of all, like, I was walking past the seafood. I wasn't looking at seafood. So that part to me, I was like, but I guess, you know, maybe he just wanted to share information. Um, I was like, okay, well, maybe you just want to tell me something or like, don't waste your time buying seafood here. It's like, but I wasn't, I wasn't shopping for seafood. I was, I was just in that area, passing that area. So Anyway, um, he's like, Walmart got the best seafood. I was like, oh, I know you full of it now. You, you, you must never been to a, a actual seafood, uh, market or, <laughs> oh, for real? That's, but hey, if that's what you know, I try seafood from every grocery store and it's not... <laughs> as good as going to get your, your fish, your seafood fresh. Cause you, for one, you have more options there. And then, yeah. But anyway, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> all right. Um, so he was standing there like it's a conversation supposed to happen. No, uh-uh. I can't get into a conversation about that because I don't know <laughs> I kind of feel like you delusional. <laughs> Especially if Walmart had the best seafood. But you know, that's a, that that could be your opinion. But I, I do not receive that. Next is the eatery. And this is going to get 50. So now has 100. Uh, every monthly, uh, this envelope gets $100. So every three months... We can order our a meat haul. HOA is going to get fully funded today. So, this challenge, and I wrote on the back here, HOA, the $48 plus $9 for my paycheck, which is a total of $57, is going here. So, I set a goal. Let me see if you guys can see that. Set a goal for $650. For this envelope and I got my bill for HOA and it came in at $640 so I was like yeah girl you got it you on the back because yeah I did a good job because I did a good guesstimation is what I'm getting at um I feel like I want to condense yeah, because this is going to be going back to the bank soon. So I'm going to take this 20 out and take these two 10s. And then that way I can keep the other envelope thin. So HOA has one, two, three, 300 in the bank. And then five, four, five, six, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Yes, so I'm telling you, like I fell in love with this system and knowing you 
have certain things due at the end of the month, the beginning, I mean, end of the year, beginning of the year, whenever your annual things are due. It's motivation, it's satisfaction, and it's just keep you financially woke. That That's my, that's what I'm getting from this whole thing. Staying woke in my finances. So, home defense, which is the home emergency fund, is getting 21. And so it has, oh, you know what? Look at me. I'm so glad I caught myself. Why y'all didn't tell me? This is home decor. Home decor is getting nothing. I got I just seen home. Got excited. Okay, home defense. This placeholder is what, what made me realize I'm in the wrong envelope. I'm like, where my placeholder at? So, last year we saved $1,000. Put that in the bank. So, we have our $1,000 to represent. And so, in the bank is $1,200. These are two prop bills. Um, so, that's $12, 13 14 14, 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So, 1,471 dollars. And this one will be fully funded the next time I get paid. So, the goal was uh, 500 this year. So, we'll have a 1,500. And... I'm so excited about that because HOA just got fully funded this paycheck. Next paycheck, home defense. And yeah. <clears throat> so the last binder and last category is new car. Last paycheck, we scratched off the 165. Looking for my marker. So that's what we're going to stuff today in prop. When I get paid, I just transfer the money to my Capital One bank account. Or actually, it's the savings account for this sinking fund. And yeah, I've been collecting some nice interest. I love seeing it. At the end of every month, I log in to see how much um, of an increase it was. <clears throat> so, we have... 4,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, so 4,500, 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. So we're definitely well over half, and we're going to scratch off this diamond to see what we get to stuff next paycheck. Ooh, yes, 130. 130 is the lowest, yep. So this the numbers range from 130 to 175. So we haven't seen a 130 in a while, a couple months back. So that's good. The less I have to give in this envelope, the more I can spread to my other sinking funds. So I always look forward to that. I got to get that marked. And that is it for this cash stuffing, you guys. Something um, to add about, you know, this discussion. Leave it in the comments. I right? let's chat about it. All I have for you guys, and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye, you guys.